Hello and welcome to another episode of Plug in PA. Uh, you've joined me on a busy corridor here uh, near Lamar, PA. This is actually half a mile uh, off of I-80 East and this is out of Pilot Flying J. And this is also a brand new site that just opened today. It is one of the GM Energy uh, slash EVGO stations here at the Pilot Flying J. And this is only open uh, temporarily 50% so there's one stall here uh, with the green so that is good to go and it can charge two cars simultaneously uh, however on the other side here the other one uh, is red so that one is not open yet fully but it is still a great site uh, here right now as it's uh, pilot opening uh, at the pilot flying jam and so this is a EVGO uh, charge dispenser and so this is 350 kilowatt, I believe they're all 350 kilowatt uh, peak output, and they can charge simultaneously. So four cars can charge here simultaneously at one time. Um, to start is really simple. You just go to this uh, nice responsive touchscreen. Um, and so you just tap to start, uh, you plug in which connector you're using and it'll turn to in use. From that point, you use this uh, our NFC card reader right there. It takes Apple Pay or you can swipe or insert a credit card. You can also start a charging session based on the EVGO app. So there's a lot of ways to start it. Uh, and after it authorizes, it takes a second. Um, it'll then make sure everything's good to go and start the session. And from there, you can hit the in use. So it tells me my SOC, how long I've been here, how much energy was dispensed, total cost. Uh, all great information. Um, however, there is some more information on these, which I haven't seen before, um, which is an info tab. And it's kind of a Q&A for if you're having questions or need help. Um, so you can just click on that, hit open, and then you can go to different topics based on, you know, what kind of question you have. Um, there's a nice home button too, so it just takes you back to the main screen. And like I said, each one of these is simultaneous. So uh, if I'm on this uh, stage of the screen and someone comes up and they need to charge, they just at home and then they plug in theirs and can go from there. Um, so that's really cool to see. There's also a pricing tab. Um, so 46 cents per kilowatt uh, with 6% uh, tax. Um, so when we go back here, there's also this last tab for session details and that kind of gives everything else in a little bit of uh, a different layout here. Um, there's also a stop charge button there. You can stop charge in the car. Uh, apologies, someone uh, has their car alarm going off. But there's also an emergency stop button right here too. Um, so all of these things are good to see. It's a really nice cord. It has some great, great cable management uh, right there. It has uh, some of the specs of what kind of cord it is. So well, now that that's off, um, we can continue. Uh, <laughs> so there's some bollards here. Um, everything is displayed very nicely. Uh, again, it being a brand new site, um, there's another electric stall there, uh, which is really cool because as you can see, every single gas and diesel um, stall for pumping is a covered canopy. And that is what makes this site special. And I think that's what makes this site gonna be really great for uh, EV adopters who um, are used to a canopy, used to a lit area. Um, it's not like you're going over in the corner somewhere and you know plugging into an EA station that's uh, dark and in the corner of a parking lot. So this is really nice. It's really good to see. It makes you feel a lot more secure. Um, again, it's not very far walk from the Flying J and there's the Denny's there too. Um, so overall, this is a fantastic site. I'm excited to see uh, people use it here in the future and I'm excited to see uh, GM expand their GM Energy uh, platform here all across Pennsylvania, uh, different Nevi sites, different um, you know private owned sites as well. So. I'm really happy with this site. Um, I'm really excited to see where it goes. And if you like this uh, video, leave a comment. Uh, if you have any questions, I'll try to answer them. Uh, but until next time, we'll catch you on the next one. Thank you.